Welcome to another John Evolve Games tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to install plugins on your bucket server if you are renting a server at, you know, an off-site location, specifically gameservers.com. That's where I'm going to be showing you how to do it. But if you have FTP access to your server wherever you're hosting it, then this process is going to be basically the same and you should follow along and not have a real problem at all. Okay, so Go to gameservers.com, log in with your account, go to your member area, click on home, and then info. And you will see all the stuff that I have blurred out on yours, like your FTP login, which is just your account number and underscore, and then the FTP uh, port that it's going to use to access. Well, not the port, but you know. Anyways, uh, it'll show your login, the URL that you need to use, all that kind of stuff. Uh, what you need to get is a program kind of like FileZilla. I'll put a link in the description for that. That's what we're going to be using. What you're going to want to do is... Okay, so, okay. Blah, blah, blah. All right, first of all, yes, there are some mods, plugins uh, available to one-click install built right into here. But if the one you want is not there, then you have to download it on your own and do this method, method to get it in there. Uh, one good mod aka plugin that is available for one click install is the locket plugin and uh, that lets you put signs over doors and on chests to make them uh, owned so that other people can't get in them and mess with them pretty cool so you can one click install that one but like i said if you want a different plugin you have to do it like this so open up your filezilla if you got that or other ftp program like it uh, right here in the host, you're going to put the address of the server. So that's this right here, the IP on top right here. Take that, put it in there. Put your username right there, which is your FTP login right here. And then password is your password right here. And port is 21, your port right there. Hit uh, quick connect right there and it will log you in and it will save your information so that you can just drop down menu and do it again. Alright, so here's what you'll see. You'll be The first folder there will be your account number, basically, on the folder. Then you'll have Minecraft underscore CP. Go into that one. Go into Minecraft. And then you'll see plugins. And if you don't see plugins for some reason, create the folder. But it's probably there. Okay, so all you have to do, you can see some of the plugins I have here. Like Tree Assist, okay? Go download Tree Assist. Pretty cool. You chop the bottom block and the whole tree and the leaves come down and it plants a sapling right in the place where the tree came down. Pretty neat. Okay, download that. You'll get it in probably a rare archive or something like that. You want to take just the .jar file that's inside of the archive you download. And locate, over here is your local, you know, your computers on this side, the remote, the servers on this side. So locate where you have it there or put it on your desktop. Oops. And uh, you could just drag it over to the program and drop it on this side. It'll automatically start to upload it. Once it's done, you could just close out of FileZilla or whatever FTP program you're using. Come back over here, restart your server. I'm not going to do it just in case anyone's logged on to mine right now. Restart your server, let it get back to full state. You know, you can log in. And then I think you want to restart it again with plugins. I'm not sure that you have to, but if the plugin acts funny, restart it a second time and then it will be good. The first one kind of installs it. And as it's installing, sometimes it, it doesn't you know, know where stuff is. It thinks it's trying to run, but it's really trying to install. Sometimes you got to restart twice. But that's all you got to do. And then you, your plugin is good to go. The only other thing you might do is if you need to give yourself permissions for it, like you don't want certain people to be able to do certain things if it's a powerful plugin, you'll want to go to your web admin right here, open that up, and then in there is permissions and stuff like that. Maybe I'll make a video about using the web admin, MC, my admin, I believe it's called control panel. I'll make a video about that most likely if anyone has any questions there because there's quite a lot you can do there. Um, things like turning on the whitelist and because with the FTP server, they don't allow you to download. Let's see, do they let you download the whitelist? There's something that, okay, they don't let you change the server.properties file, but they do let you download the whitelist, edit it, and re-upload it, I believe. Anyways, there's a lot of functionality in there that you may need to access. But for now, this is how you get some plugins on there that they don't have available right here through this one-click install menu. And uh, yes, TechIt is at the bottom of this. If you want to install TechIt, 
but like I've said previously, you need to have a uh, 1024 megabyte, aka one gig server to run TechIt successfully, because even when no one's logged in, it's going to be using about three to 400 megabytes running TechIt. Okay, so thanks for watching, and as usual, let me throw up a few links here for you to check out. Uh, right here, if you don't have a server that you're renting off-site and you want to try and run one on your computer and allow your friends to connect, here's a good video with pre-made batch files for you to try and connect. I mean, <laughs> create a server. Uh, right here, we have one for the fastest way to get diamonds if you're playing by the rules and legit not using one that just points exactly to them. Here is a video on three different ways to connect your friends to the server you're hosting on your own computer. And then here's a gameplay video, Don't Starve, an indie game, uh, and also another game, Cortex Command. And this one's actually on Steam right now, so you can check that out. But yeah, if you find that you can't run a server or the game lags when you're running the server and try and play, you should look at game servers for renting a server. It's $4.95 for, I believe, four people. Yeah, four to five people. I think it's four. I think they only let you do four. So anyways, four ninety five for four people server. Uh, that's a non tech it. Like I said, you need a bigger server if you're going to play tech it. But that's, you know, four people, okay? You can get three of your buddies to give you like two bucks a month. Just tell them, be like, hey, I just need two bucks a month. And then you could host a server. You could be the mod, you know, the guy in charge, the guy that everybody hates, right? So go check them out. Uh, there is a link in the description below. If you are going to check them out, if you click on that link, that's an affiliate link for me. Nah, I might get a few bucks if you sign up, and that would be cool. So, I appreciate if you use that link very much. Come back here and tell me that you have a server up and running. And thank you for watching. I hope you stick around, subscribe, give me a thumbs up and a favorite if this helps you out. And be sure to come back and also check out my other content. Like I said previously, good day.